Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we'll be talking about selling at Kroger Marketplace. So if you have a great consumer product that you think should be sold at Kroger and you think should be sold on Kroger.com, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to Kroger Marketplace. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So there's a term coming out in the world that's been pretty popular lately and I wanted to talk about it. It's called marketplaces and a lot of retailers are launching marketplaces and they're going to continue to do so and i wanted to explain marketplaces so that you get excited and also you get clarity for making money and what it all means to you here's what a marketplace is typically it's where a retailer will let you sell your product to them on their website for instance, Michael's Stores created a marketplace called Maker Place for products that want to be sold on michaels.com. Walmart originated this with Walmart Marketplace. It was a way to compete with Amazon. Amazon showed up and people were able to throw their product up on a website and Amazon drives the people to that site. You benefit from that. You sell a lot of products. A lot of people made a lot of money. Marketplace showed up because Walmart said, I'm going to lose market share to Amazon, and amongst other things. Also, it's a good idea. If Walmart has millions and millions of people going to their website, and that means that I can leverage all of the work we did with that website with all the people and eyeballs and people coming to that site. And I can create something where an individual who's selling a product can put their product on our website if they get approved. So it's a form you fill out. And then if approved, you're on walmart.com or you're on michaels.com or all the other ones. So essentially a marketplace for the retail chains really means that they are leveraging what they've been doing and also, Walmart Marketplace told all the other retailers it's working because Walmart benefits from this in that they have products they buy with buyers. All day long, buyers are buying products at Walmart. But for the Marketplace, they're just leveraging their website and they're not dealing with buyers. See, the buyers can only buy X number of units, X number of products for their stores or on their website. That's going to be featured. That's dealing with the buyer, dealing with the marketplace, they're filling out a form, you get access to their website, it's fine, and you don't get a purchase order through the marketplaces. So the buyers are giving you purchase orders, they're giving you a lot of money through these purchase orders to what everybody really wanted originally. But Walmart said, okay, these people obviously want a platform, a place where they can leverage our name and sell stuff. So that's the exciting news about the marketplaces, it's not the same as getting a purchase order. These chain stores that are opening up marketplaces are not going to mix the marketplace stuff with their own stuff. It's all on the same site maybe, but there's some differences. The differences are if a buyer buys your product for that chain store, they're essentially giving you a purchase order with X number of units. You're getting cash up front. With the marketplaces, you're essentially like an Amazon where you're filling out a form and then you're trying to get people to buy stuff on that site. Now, you will benefit from it being on Amazon and Amazon getting a lot of people to go to that place, but you're not getting a purchase order unless you work with the Amazon buyers and buyers exist on Amazon. They actually have buyers who buy certain products, which is not what 90% of all the people do. They're actually going directly and filling out a form of sitting, submitting their product on Amazon and selling it and then sending advertising advertisements to their page and so forth and building out a business that way. So the chain stores are doing the same thing. They're creating their own Amazon basically. And if you have been hearing that the marketplaces are better than actually selling directly to the stores, then you're hearing incorrect. Until the day happens where there's no buyers, you will always make more money with buyers at chain stores versus just posting on their marketplace. So a lot of these retail chains like Macy's and so forth are building out marketplaces 
and you can benefit simply by being able to put your product on their website, but it's technically not the same as working with a Macy's buyer and getting a purchase order. I've said this 18 different ways. I hope you understand the substantial difference of a marketplace versus actually physically selling to a buyer. There's content that you're throwing up on a site is not the same as a buyer giving you cash. They're giving you orders. That's when you deal with buyers. The good news is there's nothing wrong with placing your product on a marketplace. You should do it if you can get submit it. You can say you're selling on their website. You're getting access to a lot of people. The problem with that is, again, you're not going to make as much money. And if you can get a physical store order, that's where the big money is because they're buying X number of units. They're putting in physical stores. It's the biggest quantity. The second one is selling to buyers directly on their website. So there are buyers who buy for the e-commerce brands. They have to merchandise these products, right? They can't just throw up any product that you want them thrown up at. They want to merchandise. So they're always going to pick their products and make it look pretty on their websites, in their stores, and so forth. So these buyers who buy for the online place, they're actually getting per- giving purchase orders as well. And also, they're very selective as to what products they're putting on their website. So the Walmart buyer is very different than the marketplace situation where the Walmart buyer is actually buying stuff either for their stores or their website. And what they're buying is very exciting, new, interesting, innovative, whatever it is that they're buying. Um, Products are converting. They're willing to give money to it. The marketplace is another revenue stream for Walmart. And also, it supports you. So it's a win for all. You're going to see a lot more chain stores opening up to this because then Amazon loses market share. It balances out. Some people don't want to go through anything other than their favorite stores. It's going to continue to grow. Honestly, it just comes down to this. Do you want a purchase order, cash in hand? Do you want bigger numbers? Get the buyer to buy stuff from you. That's not the same as a marketplace. If you want to learn how to do all this, our Retail MBA training and coaching system is listed on RetailMBA.com. We'll teach you how to talk to buyers, how to get them to buy, even if you've never sold anything in your entire life. It is a powerful program. We sold some version of this for over a decade, and we've been teaching people how to get into chain stores since 2009. This is Karen Wax from Retail MBA. I hope you understand the difference between a marketplace and submitting your product onto their site versus getting a buyer to buy. They are popping up everywhere. And if you think that just selling to Walmart Marketplace is going to make you the big bucks, you're wrong. The big money comes in with the buyers. And that will be across the board for all the different retailers. And I just wanted to create a generalized one so that you understand that it matters that you see how they're popping up, why they're popping up, what that means to you and where the money is. If you're going to be placing your product on a marketplace, create beautiful imagery, make it look good, look at the content, make sure your SEO, search engine optimization is correct, like the words you use is wonderful. And also definitely share that you're selling on these sites, but continue to build your brand up and try to get those buyers to buy because that's where all our money happens. That's where the real money happens. Karen Waxman, Retail MBA. I hope this helped. Thanks so much.